So it looks like the ball's in my court with the Master Grade version Katoki ball. Yeah, version Katoki. And this is one of the first, 2004. So friggin' weird. But you know what? It's pretty much perfect. I don't know how you can make a better ba Master Grade ball than this. It does have an inner frame, which of course, you know, park him off. But hey, you can see the thruster now and how it works. So that's uh, totally intentional. Looks great. Nice tight joints on this one. I got this one back about five years ago. I was able to find it in an online shop in stock, no less, for around retail. I think it was 25, around 25. Got some uh, rubber parts covering the ball joints, which on this one are very nice and they don't come off. Even metal, these bars, metal. You don't usually see that in kits anymore. And the arms are very articulate, as you would expect from a ball, just in the right spot, you know, little claws. Got little wires in there. I was just gluing those. I don't remember if you're supposed to, but um, do it anyways. Just save you a headache. And even the turret. It's pretty nice, rather stiff. And movable verniers, these little teeny things on the top, can actually articulate. That's pretty neat. And so can the little uh, butt thruster and the backpack ones. It's funny, if you play Gun and Breaker 4, you can actually use the bottom. This is the bottom of the uh, like the leg part for the ball. So you have the rim and the thruster. You can just attach it. Like I'd say, you make a giant upper half and then a little bottom thruster to just hover around. It's funny. And it's even got an opening cockpit. And I appreciate this uh, extra orange on this version. Very nicely detailed cockpit. You can see the pilot in there, even inside the door. And thankfully, being a, a ball, they gave you a stand. Kind of looks like some scaffolding. Just plong there like that. The ball stays fine. It doesn't wiggle at all. It's just, it's there. On a shelf, looking goofy. And thankfully, I wasn't able to just get one ball. I've got two balls. One's a little blue. It happens when you get older. Now, there was one in between. The Kotoki came out in 2004, and then in 2005 there was the 8th Mobile Suit Team variation, which has, it's orange, it has, um, I think on the top here it has um, a bar which has lights on it, and then it has a double barrel uh, gun, which is completely different from the other versions of the ball, so I would like to get that. I have never, ever seen it in a shop, because if I would, I, I would have picked it up immediately. Unfortunately, no. But I got the Shark Mouth version, minus putting on the Shark Mouth decal, because I was very hesitant back in 2006 when I picked this up. I didn't want to wreck it. It's still probably on a on its sheet somewhere in a box with other decals and stickers and stuff. I did put some on here, and I think, oh uh, yeah, it is. This rim of red is actually a sticker. I forgot because this is all one solid color, and so they give you a sticker. It's a really good sticker because I didn't notice until now. I totally forgot. But I do like the extra bit of red. Especially since these wires are red as well. And they were on the other one. So you got a little bit of extra color going on there. Everything else is the same. This one, I think it's because of the age. These arms are rather loose. So when you start moving them, they just come out. I don't remember how tight they were at the beginning. But this thing, the cop, the cannon, even tighter than the version Kodoki I have. And that thing is quite a bit newer. And it comes with the exact same stand, and I know it's the uh, correct one because it's got a lot more dust in between the crevices. But I think the colors are essentially identical. And maybe the stands were on their own plate, I don't remember. And the only real difference besides the color is the roll bar. Where this one gives you plugs, this one has a roll bar. It might still have the bar. I don't remember, like I said, it's been a long time since I got this one. I just can't see them only giving this bar on this one and leaving it out. Like I don't think that was his own plate. So that's what I'm assuming. Anyways, not really sure. Although I'm also noticing, see, I'm learning more things as I look at these. The bottom here is different. So this this panel underneath the bar here has been changed compared to this. I didn't really look at that close enough. So there is a little bit more changes than I initially thought. That's good. You know, your money's a little more worth it than who doesn't want more balls, really? And there is another one I'd like to get. It's a P Bandai, of course. That's how they get you. The Spider Ball. Now, I don't remember. I should have looked it up. I don't remember if it's a uh, Bill Fighter version. It probably is, because it's essentially... Just get out of here. Just take off this right here and plunk it onto these robotic spider legs. 
it is so stupid i love it and i want it but it's expensive like i said 25 20 25 dollars is a ball in canadian the spider ball is way more and unless it's like on somewhere really stupidly cheap or it's knocked off i'm never getting it i'd like to i don't mind having a third ball i'll be a freak that's fine but i'd like to get it <laughs> 